hi my hiking friends oh it is our second day in new zealand we arrived here yesterday around two o'clock and we were so tired we had a 32 hour long journey behind us two flights that were over 10 hours and then uh, some shorter flights as well it was rough the plane seats the economy seats are quite hard to sit on and sleep on for so long anyway that's why i didn't uh, film or talk anything yesterday because my brain just didn't function yesterday we got through the biosecurity check quite easily all of our foods were okay because they were packaged and uh, like commercially made foods that was fine uh, our tent went through some extra check i don't know even what they did but uh, it all went fine we got our stuff back and now um, it is uh, the next day we have already purchased uh, some of the food that we will be taking on the track we bought some uh, like uh, freeze dried food because i'm so sick of like the ordinary grocery store food that we usually take for hiking like the noodles and i don't know uh, the usual muesli bars i just can't eat them anymore so we invested in good uh, freeze-dried food that actually wasn't so expensive i thought that i should buy a lot of stuff from estonia because it is uh, more expensive here but it wasn't true it was quite quite affordable 13 new zealand dollars for two person freeze-dried meal uh, that's pretty pretty good so yeah uh, suggestion for all of you guys you don't need to bring your own freeze-dried food with you and the tuck came really close to me oh my god hello do you want some food i will not give it to you i don't have anything for you <laughs> we went to the uh, dock center as well where we got information about the trail and we bought the back backcountry hut tickets uh, with what we can uh, camp uh, next to the huts uh, we decided we will camp uh, we will not use the huts if we don't have to yesterday in the night time I, I was a bit stressing out what am i doing i don't know anything but today i'm more full of energy and i can feel the rain is coming it promised rain today so we have to finish our stuff and get back to our hostel <laughs> by the way queenstown is really lovely really beautiful scenery around the town we see mountains we see mountain lakes just gorgeous little town it's busy but at the same time you will you have like a really calm and nice corner at center of the city where to sit and lie on the ground if it wouldn't be raining so okay let's back up and finish our stuff before it starts to pour We finally arrived to the restart track, to the start of the track. We had a, we had a lovely drive with, with the bus and then we had a change of vehicles and a, a nice guy brought us here. I have no idea where the track starts, <laughs> but I guess we will find out. Um, it's quite cold, it's really chilly and I'm definitely going to put my puffy jacket on. I'm excited. I'm a bit scared because uh, last night I read uh, that the track can be quite uh, uh, like hard, especially on the first day. But we'll see. Fortunately, the weather should be okay. We have a lot of food with us and I don't know. Exciting. We haven't walked half an hour and we are already greeted with such views. This is going to be amazing. Our first major obstacle on the trail. I think we have to cross it. Uh. No, Kinsu, you married. 
Juba aga oli kärek võivad ees käies ja siis ühel ütel läks see tuli sisse ja ja. Päris kõva pool oli siin. Aga ma lukesin, et kui ka üle kintsu on, siis ei tohi minna. No, et, kintsu. No, vesi üle kintsu. Ah, et siis ei tase valga pere. That was my first river crossing, handsome. It was a bit scary. We have gotten ourselves in the middle of the river and the real track should go on the edge of the river there. But we missed a turn somewhere and we have crossed many many quite steep and fast streams already. A bit scary. But we saw a guy who came on in the opposite direction and he told us that we should be okay if we follow the car tracks. Otherwise I would have been really really worried that we are stuck in the middle of the river. Oh, there's a really clear path here. Whew, nice. Oh, now the muddy part starts, I guess. <laughs> okay, so I apologize for swearing, but this is unbelievably beautiful fairy tale unbelievable no wonder the avatar the narnia lord of the rings the hobbit was filmed in new zealand because this yep i feel like i'm in lord of the rings but only without the monsters that would be scary <laughs> river crossing is uh, scary enough for me no need for monsters. Oh. I'm blown away. Totally speechless. I I I have heard that New Zealand is beautiful but to stumble upon these kinds of views and locations and settings it's really like a movie set uh, director has been here and set everything up to look awesome on camera and in real life This is unbelievable. This sign says that it should be three to four hours to the shelter, but this map here says it's two to three hours to the shelter. And we have walked four to five hours. We have walked five hours. And this sign says you should walk three to four hours. So who do we believe? I think I will believe the map because it has been more accurate. I am so freaking tired. Oh, it is our eighth, eighth hour of walking and we have about one kilometer left, but it's only uphill and the trail is quite like hard. A lot of roots and narrow trail and rocks and whew, I'm tired, but the good news is the first day uh, should be the hardest one, so it only goes better from here. Oh, the sulla, ma on all the fish in it. Yeah.
this is what happens when you are too tired to look what's in front of you I just <laughs> completely fell, 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 fell into this mud hole oh my god how long more oh finally there's our destination about time oh. Good morning, it is something between 7 and 8 o'clock and the night was a bit cold for me <laughs> my back was cold so half of the night I slept with my puffy jacket but do you know why it was cold? Because it was freezing. Can you see the ice? All of our condensation has frozen. Yeah, as well. Yeah, but the condensation is really bad. I should have left some doors open. My bag and and my mom's bag is quite wet <laughs> because we touched the walls. Eks ma võib-olla ei oska selle kildiga magada ka veel? Jah, ta on nagu lahti alt. Aga selle loogik ongi see, et ka see, kui on selja all kokku surutud isolatsioon, see ei töötagi. Nagu kaalu alla hoidmiseks, siis ongi see alumine osa on ära. Siin on need kummid, mis hoiavad teda nagu... Ma pean võib-olla nagu tugevdama neid. Noh, ongi see üskene testimine. So, according to this hot food book, no one from Estonia since 2017 May has been here. I found some names from Latvia, from Finland, but I guess we are the first Estonians! Hooray! So today will be a peak day, so to speak, for us. We will cross the saddle, the re-saddle, I guess it was its name. That is 1,400 meters, meters above sea level. Now we are 900 meters above sea level. So it's a 500 meter ascent, half of our day. It should take us about six hours, but let's see. Maybe we are a bit slower and that's totally okay. Oh, but everything is frosted right now. Our tent was full of ice when we finally put it together. So. We definitely need to take a break and try our stuff out. In the hut where we were staying ooh, <laughs> there were at least like six or seven other people who planned to hike the same trek as uh, uh, us because you have the chance to stay in the hut and do like circles or loops or whatever and we were the first ones to leave the hut in the morning and now the first hiker has passed us who probably he is quite quite fast oh yeah <laughs> uh, but it's totally okay that we are slow people don't be afraid to be slow because <laughs> it is really tempting to think that oh why are we so slow we are the first to leave and last to arrive but for a for a mother with 
artificial hip and for me <laughs> who struggles with headaches when when I strain myself too hard we are pretty damn good the good thing about hiking here uphill multiple days in a row compared to for example uh, Nepal where we did the same thing is we have air what to breathe here so that's ma that makes things much more easier but yeah mm, this ascent is pretty deep this is hard now I wish that maybe I should have done more squats or something <laughs> the others are passing me like woo and woo, woo. but I can do it I know I can I hope I can Whew, of course I can we made it hooray oh I forgot my uh, rain jacket in the hostel so I don't have any rain jacket with me I do have an emergency plastic jacket that you can get from the store from some euros but what I do have is an umbrella I actually intended to use it as a sun protection but I guess I will use it now as a rain protection check it out pretty awesome I must, I must look so stupid right now. Look at that. If this isn't the Middle Earth, then I don't know what is. We reach to those small lakes. <laughs> they look so funny up. Upstairs. Kokemat <laughs> 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 <gasps> These are so sharp. Ow, ow, ow. I wanted to take a picture of this flower. Oh my man. Well, this is really challenging. The descent has been going on a really long time and it's really steep, really rocky and it's much harder than the ascent we did because here, like, we have slipped many times and it's quite scary to roll down the hill with your backpack here, so... Ooh, and it keeps going and going! Finally, hot! Look how lovely it looks! Oh my god! Oh my god, the moment we walked into the hut, it really started to rain. Yes, our home! We have to pay a bit extra, 10 dollars per person, because we only have uh, camping tickets, but I think we don't want to be outside with this rain. So me and my mom both struggle with uh, headaches from time to time and we have uh, found that this shot of pure guarana helps, mm -hmm. but it tastes really bad. Puhani, puhani. Ei ole ta nii alla peal. Nüüd on kolm tundi nagu elektrikenes. Nüüd kolm tundi, kui me siin peame istuma. Ma arvan, et ma võtan oma vesi värvid ja lähen, teen elektrikenest.
I'm so tired. <laughs> we are entering a landslide area once again. I wouldn't be surprised if I would find two hobbits here eating their second breakfast and going to their aunt's birthday. 